Today we're going to talk about black-footed ferrets. Black-footed ferrets' color and markings blend well with grassland soils and plants, making them well adapted to their prairie environment. They are slender, wiry animals with a black face mask, black feet, and black tipped tail. The rest of their body is short and sleek with fur that is yellow buff color, lighter on the belly, and nearly white on the forehead, muzzle, and throat. Their legs are short with large front paws and claws developed for digging. Black-footed ferrets, large ears, and eyes suggest that they have acute hearing and sight, but smell is probably the most important sense for hunting prey in the underground in the dark. Now, black-footed ferrets once ranged throughout North America, Great Plains, wherever prairie dog colonies thrived, from southern Canada to northern Mexico. Today, they have been reintroduced into parts of their former range in Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, and Arizona. Now, <clears throat> here is a black-footed ferret's skull. As you can see, it's not very big. And that's because ferrets themselves are not real big. Uh, they're about the size of a mink. They're 18 to 24 inches tall, long and 5 to 6 inches tall. And they only weigh a pound and a half to two and a half pounds, with males being slightly larger than females. Ferrets are a carnivore. That's why they've got the sharp teeth there. In the, on the top and lower jaws. They've got the sharp teeth going on so they can eat. They're, um, they do have the high metabolic rate requiring large quantities of food in proportion to their body size. Food requirements vary with the seasons and among individual ferrets, but generally consume one prairie dog every three to four days. In the wild, 90% of black-footed ferrets diet is prairie dogs. One ferret may eat over 100 prairie dogs in a year and scientists calculate that one ferret family needs more than 250 prairie dogs each year. The remainder of the diet includes mice, rats, ground squirrels, rabbits, birds, and occasionally reptiles and insects. The Smithsonian National Zoo black-footed ferret is led, excuse me, is fed a commercial carnivore meat mix of mice and rats. Black-footed ferrets are primarily nocturnal. They spend most of their time underground in prairie dog burrows, typically spending only a few minutes above ground each day during the first few hours following sunrise to hunt or to find new burrows or mates. In burrows, they sleep, catch their food, escape from predators, and harsh weather. They give birth to their youngs. Ferrets do not hibernate, but in winter, the amount of time that they are active and the distances that they travel decrease substantially. They have been found to remain underground in the same burrow system for a week at a time in the winter. Males are more active than females and tend to travel about double the distance than females do. Black-footed ferrets lead solitary lives except during the breeding season or when females are caring for young. Breeding activities generally occurs in March and April. After a gestation period of 41 to 43 days, a litter of kits is born. The average litter size is three or four young, but a single kit, as well as litters of nine or 10, have been re recorded. Only the female carries for the young. Kits are born blind and helpless, would they weigh only about 0.2 or 0.3 ounces at birth with thin white hair covering their bodies. 
the dark markings appear in about three weeks of age and young kits begin to open their eyes about 35 days after birth. Black-footed ferret kits develop very rapidly and become increasingly active after their eyes open. Kits are about three quarters of the way grown by July when they first venture above ground long after they've stopped nursing. They depend on their mother for meat, meals of meat. By late summer, the female leaves her kits in separate burrows during the day and gathers them together at night to hunt. Eventually, the young begin to hunt alone and by September are usually independent and solitary. Ferrets become sexually mature at one year of age and their peak reproductive is about three to four years. Now, to communicate, the black-footed ferrets are very vocal. A loud chattering is used as an alarm call. A hiss is usually used to show agitation or fear. And females use whimpering sounds to encourage the young to follow. Male ferrets often portal to females during breeding. And the lifespan of a black-footed ferret, uh, few of them survive beyond three to four years of age in the wild, and they typically live to be about four years old in human care. 